Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to share a VPN connection from an Android phone to a computer using USB tethering. So before you can set up a successful VPN connection via USB tethering, you must install a third-party application called PDA Net Plus on your phone and your computer. This versatile application allows you to use any internet connection through USB tethering, Wi-Fi direct hotspot, and Bluetooth. However, this tutorial will focus on USB tethering. To begin, you need to install the PDNet Plus application on your computer. So open your computer web browser and search for PDNet. Click on the first search results to access the official website. You can also find the link in the video description for your convenience. So once you land on the website, Choose the PDNet Plus version that is compatible with your computer operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows computer. So I will select the Windows client application to start downloading the setup file. Once the download is complete, double click on the setup file to begin installation process. Accept the terms and conditions to proceed. Click the next button to start installing the setup on your computer. In the middle of the installation, PDNS Plus will prompt you to install the application on your Android phone. You have the option to install the application from Play Store or download it from their official website. So take your Android phone, open the Play Store and search for PDNS Plus. Tap on install to download and install the application on your Android phone. After the installation is complete on your Android phone, return to the computer and click on OK. When the driver prompt pops up asking, would you like to install this device software, proceed and click on install. Skip the installation of the ADB interface and then click on install again to proceed. Once you have done this, the installation on your computer is successfully finished. Now the application is prompting you to enable USB debugging mode on your Android phone. To do this, simply go to your Android phone settings, scroll to the bottom and tap on system. You will see the developer option here. If you can't find it, go ahead and tap on about phone. Then scroll to the bottom until you find build number. Tap on the build number 7 times to enable the developer options. Now go back to system and you will see the developer option appears here. To enable debugging mode, go into the developer option and scroll down until you find USB debugging. Turn on USB debugging by tapping on it. After enabling USB debugging, connect to the VPN you wish to use and plug in USB cable to your phone and your computer. Make sure to set the USB connection mode on your phone to file transfer or MTP. To enable USB tethering, open the PDA Net Plus app on your phone and tap on USB tethering. Return to the computer and click on OK to exit the error prompts. Next, click on the Show Reading Icons button on the right side of the taskbar and click on the phone icon. From the options that appear, select Connect to USB. Wait for a confirmation message to appear on both your phone and computer, indicating that the connection is successful. After this, your computer should be able to access the VPN internet connection using your phone's mobile data. If in case you follow all these steps and still can't access the VPN connection, then proceed to the Windows settings and click on Network. Select Proxy from the right pane. Under Manual Proxy, check if you have enabled Use a Proxy Server. If the toggle switch is on, click on it to turn it off and then click on Save. And that's it. You have successfully set up a USB tethering with PDA Net Plus. Now you can enjoy a stable internet connection on your computer. I hope this tutorial was helpful and made the process easy for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Hit the bell icon so you will be notified whenever we post a new content. Stay connected and see you next time.